So I've been teaching self-talk in my seminars uh -huh. for years to adults. Do you find it different when you're teaching self-talk to kids? Is there something you have to do differently? The way we teach self-talk with children is we have a story called Choosing Your BFF, or Best Friend Forever. And in the story, Trudy the tortoise, who's the main character, is with two of her best friends, uh, Positive Pam and Negative Nikki. And of course, pos Positive Pam is talking nice to her, Negative Nikki not being quite so nice. So kids can very quickly see which friend they'd rather be around. But Jack, it's an aha moment for our children when they realize that Positive Pam and Negative Nikki live right here, up in their mind, and that they get to choose to listen to Positive Pam and be their own BFF. But what we're doing is we're not just teaching them what self-talk is, we're helping them to develop a skill. So we're gonna teach them how to identify and shift negative self-talk, and then how to proactively create the positive self-talk. So for the shifting of the negative self-talk, we teach them to look for the grungies, which is what we talked about earlier. And then whenever they feel the grungies, they know to examine their thoughts and to gently shift their thoughts. And then for positive self-talk, we have an activity where they, they develop their own self-talk mirror and a mirror mantra, which is an affirmation statement, so that every time they see their reflection, whether it's their self-talk mirror, the mirror in the bathroom, reflection in the school window, they send a positive message to themselves. And the reason why this is so important is we're wanting to build those neural pathways in their, their mind, to use positive self-talk over and over and over to create a new comfort zone to where self-talk becomes their new habit. In less than an hour, you can have story time and be teaching the skill of positive self-talk to the children in your lives. I love it. I have an eight-year-old grandson. I'm going to sign up. The skills that we teach support children once they learn them throughout middle school, high school, and into their adult years. So it really is transformational for our kids. That's beautiful. Yeah.